Howdy, here is a video to describe how to use libraries in Arduino. So if I open up the page where I put all of the codes and additional files, the libraries for each of these components, um, if I wanted to run any one of these uh, and send it to Arduino, the first thing I have to do is I need to save the code from OneNote. Uh, so I'm going to save the IR receiver module dot ino. That's the code file, and there it is on my desktop now. The other thing I have to save is this zip file, uh, the IR remote dot zip, because inside this is code that's already pre-written that this other sketch is going to call up. So now I just want to show you what's inside of this IR remote. So there's another folder, of course, and inside there's examples. Um, irremote.h. So I'm going to just pull this .h file out here, and I'm going to exit that, and I'm going to open this. Um, open with Notepad, just a plain text. I don't always want to do it, and so I'll move this over here into my screen. This is defining a whole bunch of functions so you don't have to write these things out in an Arduino sketch. So it's using your standard Arduino language and doing stuff that's specific for the IR remote. And you can see uh, lots of other references here as well. Um, we're not going to get too much into how you would write libraries, but basically for a lot of components you have stuff that's already pre-written. And I don't even need to have this file, so I'm going to just recycle that right now. Um, if I wanted to open the IR receiver sketch, um, I double click on it and you may have found that Arduino likes to see stuff inside of its own folder. Uh, you can't, it can't just be standalone files. So I'm going to press OK. It's going to create a folder. I'm going to make this window a little bit smaller so we can actually see the whole thing. So here is the IR receiver module code. So basically if I press a button on a remote and the IR receiver is plugged into the Arduino, it'll receive these and display something on the on the um, serial monitor. The include IR remote dot H. It's looking for this library uh, before anything else. Uh, before we have declared any variables, before the um, before any of the loops, and we have another thing here. We have and this one's a good example because we are including library, we're declaring variables, uh, we are declaring what are called objects. That's a whole other area, object oriented programming. And then we are also declaring um, some functions, and then we are going to the actual um, setup and then the loop code. So this is written much differently than the basic make an LED flash or dim. Um, because again, when you write code, we do it in blocks, and sometimes we have these pieces existing elsewhere so we can call to it. And so if I try to verify this, what's going to happen is it says iremote.h, no such file or directory. What we need to do is I'm going to put this iremote.zip in here. That also, you might think, is that going to make it work? It doesn't see it there. What we need to do is under sketch, we need to include a library. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a zip library. And this zip library is now in my, go to my desktop, and this is in the IR receiver module folder that was created. And there's that IR remote zip folder that I had dragged in there. And I'm going to include that library. And now that I have included that specific library, my sketch can be compiled and it calls up to it. Now Arduino has a bunch of built-in libraries. You can go to this under Tools, Manage Libraries, and you can look through a whole bunch of libraries available um, that the Arduino.cc uh, site has um, collate, or not collate, collected, um, so you can add and install any of these for other parts you might buy. So there probably is 
an IR remote library already in here. Let's see if I type it, or IR receiver. Um, game IR, infrared, so there's, there's a bunch of possibilities. Um, these, you can see there are a whole bunch, the little slider scroll bar is really tiny. There's a lot of Ar Arduino libraries that people have written and that are linked. You can, yeah, um, oh, I just noticed one thing that looked interesting, Apple MIDI. So you can, you can control MIDI devices with Arduino potentially. So I'm going to close that because there's one other place where you can find libraries. So include library. All of these libraries are already downloaded to your uh, desktop computer uh, with the Arduino um, IDE. And then there are other ones that I have added since. So for example, the DHT sensor library, I already I added that manually after installing. Um, and there's other recommended libraries that you can include with this. These are already installed. But if I want to use any of these, what I have to do, um, I need to, in my code at the beginning of sketch, include a particular library uh, .h file. And then under sketch, I also have to manually say include a specific library. So now I have included the IR remote library into the sketch. And so that's, that's calling it up right there. So I'm going to undo that. Um, but that's libraries are useful things. They can be kind of confusing at first, but it, and it seems like it makes things more complicated. But if you have lots of different diverse components, it actually does make it less complicated um, because it allows you to compartmentalize and really take a interconnected systems approach to designing and implementing stuff in Arduino.